We've told you before about Robin Swoboda's breast cancer battle. She's currently in chemo for the next several weeks and then we'll move on to radiation. While there is a lot on her plate, she does have a team of friends and family supporting her every step of the way. But oh, there is also a new team member who has not left her side since they met. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins reports how Robin learned despite a difficult diagnosis, life still goes on sometimes in the best way possible. It won't be the second cancer diagnosis Robin Swoboda will remember about the summer of 21. It will be the pig roast. There's this handsome guy and, you know, I think he's flirting with me and, you know, he did say, would you like to go out sometime? And I'm like, I'm chubby. I have white hair. I'm in my 60s. I have cancer. Do you want to go out with me? And he goes, yeah, I do. <laughs> Few things will scare Rob Weinbrenner. He's a retired police officer. But the more I talked to her, the more I wanted to hear about her story and, and what she was going through. She was going through some cancer. And I found that interesting as much as I found her interesting. Rob also understands the devastating curveballs life can throw. His son, Justin, an Akron police officer, was killed in the line of duty in 2014. Rob also wasn't a stranger to Robin's fight. And I was telling her about my wife. I, my wife had cancer and she, she did not survive the cancer. There's an undeniable spark between these two. They've been nearly inseparable since they met. I've been waiting for him my whole life. On their third date, he may have saved her life. He rushed her to university hospitals after her first round of chemo caused a dangerous reaction. He has seen me at my worst. I mean, he took me to the to the ER and um, he knows my weight. He knows uh, <laughs> my sodium numbers. He knows he's 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 seen it all and he keeps coming back. <laughs> it's just crazy. I'm very much in love with her. I think within the first uh, well, I don't know what the first time I said I love you was, but I think it was at, in the ICU. I didn't have anybody four years ago, and, you know, that's, I went through it like a trooper, but I thought, I wish I had somebody special who, you know, was, was there for me and could run their fingers through my hair and have my hair come out in their fingers. Yeah, we're almost done. Yep, Rob's been there, too. Her sense of humor is infectious. Collaborate and listen. Oh, no. Robin's in the back with a brand new addition. <laughs> and like so many others, he learns from her attitude every day. You can go through all of that and still look at a positive side, be happy. I've never been around somebody as happy as she is, and that makes me happy. There's not a day, we, we wake up laughing, we, we go to bed laughing. It's, it's, it's she just, just the whole day is laughing, laughing, laughing. We just, we just laugh all the time. So while she's dealing with her next eight weeks of chemo, he'll be right beside her walking the dogs, or binging Netflix. I want to be your partner in this. I want to be part of this whole thing. And you know, I think our first question was, well, you're, I'm, I'm not, you're not doing this because you feel sorry for me. I said, no, no, I do this because I love you. Monica Robbins, 3 News. My goodness. <laughs> Love you, Robin. Well, Robin says she has five chemotherapy treatments left before radiation, and Rob has been by her side through all of them. We will continue to follow her story, their story, and we'll update you on her journey.